Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today is just a, an energy update. Um, right now, I just did a video, like, right after I got up. That's why my voice is off, but my energy is still up, though. So, uh, today, 6 to 19 is... For the two videos I made today, that's why my voice is off. I just got up, so I do apologize for my energy not being like fully awake, even though, even though that, how have I been feeling now set after that light arrow energy effect? I feel more empowered again. Is it because I keep banning? trolls who appeal in my discord server to be honest i have no freaking idea but i do know is that my magic is back and right now the goal is which has always been reach godhead what in the world do i mean godhead is a term that people use or refers to you awake all seven chakras you extend the kundalina that is dormant at the base of the spine and up through the spine out of your crown chakra which is literally on the top of your head so up through the spine out of the top of your head and to me that means you mastered something uh you mastered uh your magic it can mean you mastered your magic or your astral projection or something it's really hard to describe when you're not at that level. Uh, for me, I'm nowhere near that level. Um, I know I still have a lot of work to do to balance myself to the point where I mastered my spirit, my emotions. Meaning I am not controlled by this 3D world. The ego um, ex and things of that sort. Um, uh, to me, I guess, when I say mastery, I could refer to what the, the monks do, the Tibetan monks, how I think they could be masters. They are really neutral. They're not really warring with themselves uh, on the inside. For me, I know I still have a lot of work to do, and I'm not noble new godhead right now, but to me, it means mastering my magic, mastering my astral form, to know really what I am, who I am from a th over a thousand years ago, because I believe personally in reincarnation. To the point, well, okay, who was I originally? Because knowing that, then this life is really doesn't match. Like, is this really who I am? Or is it because this life shaped me in a way that I am not who I am originally? Was I more outgoing? Was I more in tune to nature? Did I have more powerful magic, Wiccan magic? Um, did Was I a master at meditation to the point where I could literally will my soul out of my body and go astral projection? Or was I a master at lucid dreaming? There's all these questions, but... You have to look deep within yourself to find those answers. 
you could have been a psychic in a previous life. A clairvoyant. Um, there's so many different things you could have been, but now those powers are asleep. Um, because this world shaped you into believing that there was no such thing as psychics. There was no such thing as ghosts, etc. So this world has made you believe that that is not real, even though you were a master at one point in time. For me, I have soul amnesia. What that means is I have no memories. I just woke up in this life from blackness, this void I came into being, didn't know anything from my past. I have no memories. Even though I know I have dragon magic in me, I know I am an angel, and yet I have no memory other than this drawn feeling that I possess. And it's like, okay, I need to go into a past life, a trance meditation to try to remember. But with that, for me, I can't really, I, ha I, I am not a master at meditation in this life. For the life of me, I cannot get into a still state. My mind keeps running which is very hard to concentrate on the task at hand, and that is what is not helping me achieve what I am trying to do. And magic, you have to put all your thought into what that one thing. Have all your thought focus on that one thing only you are trying to do. You cannot make, you cannot allow your mind to wander to be distracted. And for me, I have a distracted mind at all times of the day, at night. It, it is what it is and I cannot control it. I have tried, I get no well. I know for some reason my aura is still this eerie calmness that I have never felt before until recent. Could it be because there's no, I don't know. Other people have said it too that I, that I followed on YouTube. Other light workers have noticed this, but I do not know how to explain it other than one day your aura was so busy, the next eerie calm is no longer turbulent. How? I don't know. I wish I knew. But yeah, I personally don't know why that happened. And then I noticed I could, my mind was less distracted, but I am no will nil mastering it. It is very hard to control your thoughts. It is very difficult. But yeah, these are my my thoughts currently. Um, what is going on? Energy update. It it feels good making content, producing light worker topics, no matter what they may be, because in everything there's always a lesson to be learned. Even if I talked about how my ex was upset at something I said, because. He thinks that I was in the wrong for how I felt. Oh, don't be like Hitler. I'm not no well knew what that man did. I don't think like he thought. Okay, I... No. That guy was a psycho. Not going to lie, but... But, what if... But do we really know the real story of mankind? 
to the point where, um, well, I don't trust the Bible because th that book is just lies. It masks the truth. So, yeah, my ex thought I was acting like Hitler and he deleted my comment, got upset because I was upset because he deleted my comments and I said, let me delete it, delete my own comment. And he's like, no, you should have never said what you said. Stop sounding like Hitler. It's like, really? Really? But what if the demons are, quote, black because they cause nothing but hell for the rest of us? What do you see on all the, the crime? Nothing but blocks. They have a bad rap, but it kind of makes you question everything. Like, okay, so you can tell me that whites are, well, my ex tried to make it sound like the whites do more damage than the blacks. No, I'm sorry. The, look at this, the sticks, sticks. No, really. A cop would, a real cop would, could tell you. And yeah, my, my ex tried to make it sound like, oh, the whites do more damage than the blacks. It's like, no. Do you see all the rap that I do? Yeah, that rap to me is very negative vibe. Um, I prefer songs from, um, uh, well, the album The Doors. Um, which was in the 70s. Yeah, 70s. And rap, to me, really took off in the late 2000s. Um, early 2000s, maybe. Maybe the start of the 2000s. But then it just progressed. And now you have commercials with rap. You, you used to not see that. Now you do. And it, to me, it is really irritating. It is very negative vibration to me and my ex is trying to tell me that the whites do more damage. Really? Being racist is okay. It just means you're starting to see the what the um the vibration for what it is. The world that what it is. Um and you're trying to tell me to let that slide, all this baby drama and uh, baby mama drama, like, there's just nothing but problems with, with the, the blacks. I know not all are going to be like that, but the majority, keyword, majority, are the problem. Why do you think they are so much in jail over here? Well, as overseas, it's like, you don't see it. I don't know, just, just think about that for a moment. The natives are a little bit different because they're brown race. Um, they live with nature. They accept when you draw the negative energy into the earth, you created an unseen monster. Yeah, an unseen monster. But they still live with the nature. They live how the original, how the original people lived, our great ancestors would have lived. Instead of destroying the planet, they worked with it. So you have to remind yourself, okay, is this negative energy or is this positive energy? If it's negative, then I want nothing to do with it. For me, I witnessed too many negative people who were black, I'm not going to lie. And my ex 
friend can be mad at that to say that I am racist, I'm not going to hide that. 